let's get started with our garlic mayonnaise or miracle whip in this case uh, this is going to be a little special mixture that i do um, doing this about two to three hours ahead of making the fries this will be a dipping sauce for the fries and uh, the reason for that is we need this to the, all the flavors to blend and meld together in the refrigerator for at least i would say a minimum of two hours but the longer the better um, make sure you check the description um, the complete uh, directions for this and the fries will be in the description for you let's go ahead and get this started y'all all right first thing you're gonna need is your base I'm going to use Miracle Whip. Uh, if you're going to use mayonnaise, I highly recommend Duke's. Not a sponsor, nothing like that. Just uh, my all-time favorite mayonnaise. <clears throat> but Miracle Whip, in this case, is what I'm after. You're going to need a cup. Now, if you're making a whole lot of fries for a whole lot of people, then just adjust your recipe. As that's one cup of Miracle Whip, or you can use, like I said, mayo. Next step, one quarter cup of olive, or in my case, grape seed oil. We need to thin this down just a little bit to accommodate our other ingredients. Quarter cup. <clears throat> One teaspoon of cumin. Now this is to taste, obviously. If you don't like cumin, don't put it in or just sprinkle a little bit. So I'm going to go just shy of one teaspoon. Just shy. I'm going to be using Himalayan Pink salt, black pepper and garlic, or just good old fashioned salt and pepper, if that's what you got. Now this goes a long way, so I'm not gonna use much because I'm gonna be using garlic. <clears throat> I've got minced garlic here, and I want a tablespoon of garlic. That's a lot, but that's what I want. This is garlic mayonnaise, by the way. One tablespoon minced garlic. I've got Golden's Spicy Brown, one of my all-time favorite mustards, and um, oh yeah, one teaspoon, teaspoon. There we go. And this is lime juice. You obviously don't have to put lime juice in it if you don't want. So I'm just going to put a little squirt, a couple drops, three, four, five, six, about six or seven drops of lime juice in there. And we're going to blend this up. Blend. I will give you an optional ingredient right here, and I'll put it in the, in the uh, description box as well. I will not be using it because uh, someone who will be enjoying this with me doesn't like it, but you can also put in a teaspoon or two of chili powder. make some french fries for our dinner tonight. What you're going to need, cutting board, some potatoes, a really good sharp knife, and a bowl of cold water. You're also going to want to start this at least one hour before you want to cook them because we're going to let the potatoes soak in the cold water to help remove the starch. Why do we want to remove the starch? To make them crispy and to help them or stop them from Sticking together. Let's cut some potatoes. This is the Cutco. Very sharp. A couple russet potatoes. Idaho russet potatoes. 
All you want to do is give yourself a flat edge. Okay, roll that potato over on that flat edge, and that'll keep it from rolling and potentially cutting your finger off. You cut your potatoes to any thickness you want. And you see what happens here when I get too close to the old finger? I just flip it down on the flat edge, just like that. All right, if you're satisfied with the thickness of your fries, right over into the cold water. That one's a little, a little big. Okay, you get the idea. Take out any bad spots that you don't want in your fries like that. Be careful guys, these are a little slippery. Knives are very, very sharp. And you can guess the rest. All right, let's do that again. Make yourself a flat edge, roll it over. Oh, by the way, I am leaving the skin on. I really like my fries with the skin on. You can certainly peel these ahead of time if you want, if you don't like the skin. You do it your way, I do it my way. I'm just showing you technique. You may also notice that when I'm cutting quick like this, where's my hand? Under the knife? No. Beside the knife? No. My hand's on top of the knife. Because Scott wants to cook dinner and not go to the hospital. One more I'll do it, it's just two of us. You might want more. All right, flat surface, nice and steady. Flat. Too close to the digits, the hand goes on top. All these potatoes are going straight in the water. These do not need to go back in the refrigerator. The water does not have to be ice cold, just tap water cold. We are removing starch. The longer you can let them soak, the better. I don't like to let them soak overnight. They get a lot of brown spots on them. So I, I usually give them about an hour or so. You can also do this a little quicker if you want. Um, you're gonna get similar results, but not exactly. You can blanch the potatoes in some boiling water, which means boiling water boom, boom, in and out. That will remove starch as well. There you go, and I'm just going to put this uh, cutting board right on top of this bowl and let them sit for about an hour. After you've let your fries soak in the water for at least an hour or more, go ahead and drain your water. Just grab your paper towel, dab them dry, as dry as you can get them. This will be the time where you'd uh, put whatever seasoning you want. Um, I just put some sea salt on mine. And we also need to preheat the foodie before we put them in, so let's go do that. I highly recommend preheat the foodie for just about anything you're going to do. We're going to cook these at 390, so we'll just do the preheat at 390. Time don't matter. Give it uh, at least uh, two or three minutes. This thing gets hot really fast. And uh, if you're going to use any um, non-stick stuff in your basket, uh, do that after the preheat. I'm going to hit my basket with a little Pam. Not 100% necessary, but... I just like to do it. Makes things easy. So let's go ahead and give this uh, three, four, five minutes to preheat and we'll get our fries going. All right, once you got your preheat done, work fairly quickly here. We don't want to lose that heat we just made. Fries in. Lid down. Time here is really going to be a matter of preference. Some people really like their fries extra crispy. Some people like them a little chewy in the center. I'll leave that up to you. So you'll need to adjust that time to whatever you want. Uh, I usually just go ahead and set it to some 
ridiculous amount I know I'm not going to need. And the only reason I do that is just because I don't want it to cut off. So uh, we'll go in there and check it about in 10 minutes and then we'll check it every couple minutes afterwards. And when we check it in 10 minutes, we're going to give it a quick stir around too. All right, it's been about seven or eight minutes. Let's flip the lid, give them a quick stir. Let's see how we're doing. Just getting started here, but they're pretty far from the way I want them. So we're just going to keep on cooking. Let's do another check. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Got five minutes left on the timer, y'all. It's pretty good. I might pull those right there. That looks really good. Homemade potato french fries. Cooked in the Ninja Foodi. Air crisp. 390. About uh, 17, 18 minutes. You can cook them less, you can cook them a little more. Cook them however you like. Dip them in that nice garlic mayo sauce I made. Dip them in some ketchup. Or just don't dip them in anything. Let's try one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That sea salt is great on there, guys. If you like this video, mmm, that's good. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave me some comments. Don't forget to share the video. Very important. Check the description for links. Patreon. Ingredients. Stuff. Lots of stuff. I want to thank everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys give this a try. This is a pretty simple one. And a really delicious one. See you on the next one.